hello viewers have a good day welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to do image to image georeferencing that means i have a one image which is already georeference image and that image has latitude and longitude so you can see here jharkhand reference image so if i click on zoom to layer you can see this if i uncheck this and click on the this and zoom to layer this is also jharkhand image but it don't have any latitude and longitude as well as the any kind of georeferencing so how i can georeference this uh jharkhand set from the this georeference jharkhand image so the thing is that from these two images how i can understand ki which image has georeferencing or position system so this is very simple before going to georeferencing i should check it and you should always check it then you can easily do the georeferencing so first thing is that just click on here go to properties and from this source if i go below within the special reference you can see here xy coordinate system that is the gcs wgs 1984 that means this is a georeference image because it has a projection system okay then cancel it and then go this jharkhand map okay click here go to properties and similarly go below xy coordinate system and you can see here special reference is un identified as well as unknown xy coordinate that means this jharkhand map don't have any georeferencing or projection system so we need to georeference of this jharkhand image so how can do georeferencing is it is very simple so before going to georeferencing you just go within this georeferencing toolbox and from this drop down you should select jharkhand map okay because this jharkhand map we want to do georeferencing because this jharkhand georeference image already have georeferencing so you should check it and select this jharkhand map within this georeferencing because i want to georeference this jharkhand image map okay then what i can do i can drag it here okay and i can click on zoom to layer so this is our georeference uh, jharkhand map so before going to georeferencing you should always remember that we should take the gcb point in clockwise okay and for the selecting the location okay for the image to image georeferencing you should always take the same easily identified location that means the corner of the map corner of the district corner of the or specified specify point etc okay so at first i want to take the uh, point from here okay and i can also verify that from the georeferencing image zoom to layer ki that point is also available or not so you can see similar point also is available here another you can another thing you can do that that is from the georeferencing you just click here fit to frame okay so after that if i uncheck this and click on this zoom to layer click on this zoom to layer okay so so my first gcb point after the selecting this jharkhand map okay zoom to layer i want to zoom it okay i want to take first gcb point here you just go from the georeferencing first one this add coordinate point so click here add coordinate point okay then click the top here okay so after that go to jharkhand georeference image okay then click on zoom to layer without clicking anything okay and uncheck this previous jharkhand map and go there and just take the gcb point okay so now you can go here so you can see here this is the first gcb point i have already successfully taken this first gcb point okay the second thing is that if you want to show the gcb point so just click here this view link table and you can see this view link table and latitude longitude and everything you can see here okay then second point so second point i want to take again 
from here okay so this is my second point will be second point just just click here then click here jharkhand georeferencing zoom to layer uncheck previous jharkhand map and go here and click here so this is my second gcb point okay if i click on the jharkhand map so i can see this is the, this was my second gcb point so third point i want to take somewhere okay this here this from this point okay zoom it zoom it and i want to take here just click here then again go to uncheck this and you can see here this is my point you just click here so this is my third gc point okay then again click here jharkhand map then go below and i want to take the next gc point from here okay this extended part click here uncheck this jharkhand map uncheck also zoom out so this is my point click here okay this is my fourth gc point now again go to jharkhand map my fifth point will be from this extra most portion from this extended portion from the jharkhand map so click here so this is my fifth point uncheck this and click here this is my fifth point again uncheck check it jharkhand zoom out my next point will be from here okay this point okay zoom it click here uncheck this you may click here zoom to layer also okay so again zoom it zoom it zoom it zoom it so my point will be from here okay then again click here so my next point will be from here the thing is that when you will take more gc point your map will be more accurate if you take less gc point your map will have some more residual or error so you always remember as much as number of gc point you you may select okay so last gc point will take from here then sorry this is wrong so again click here so last point i will take from here so click here uncheck this and almost this is accurate okay so after that i can click here jharkhand map and zoom to layer okay so now you can also extend your gcp table okay so this is your gcp table so you can see here total residual is less than 0 0.1 okay and as well as every individual i have already taken a gc point and you can see here this is the residual so highest residual you can see here found in here that is uh, gc point 3 that is 0 0.13 okay or this one residual 5 0 0.2 but the overall residual is less than 0 0.1 so my gc point almost accurate and this is suitable for the georeferencing so after collecting or checking your gc point i will go you can close this gc point and again if you click here you can see the gc point okay so this is very simple you can do it anytime anywhere okay this is very simple okay you can drag it drag out everything you can do okay so now after the geo uh, after the taking jc point you just go this georeferencing option then click on this rectify okay so after rectify you should 
assign your folder location so click here so my folder is arcjs and i am to assign the name that is jharkhand then oh sorry this is the folder location just select arcgis just select your uh, assign folder and i want to assign name that is jharkhand reference to dot tiff and format should be tiff then click on save okay then close this remove this or you can go or oh, you can remove this then go to catalog and it is within my arcjs so this is my jharkhand reference to click here but you can see unknown special reference that means it alarming you that your georeference image don't have any projection system that means you should assign a projection system for this georeference image then click close it again click here jharkhand from this catalog jharkhand reference to click here go to properties then go below and you can see a special reference that is xy coordinate system click here edit then from this projection system there is a two option one is geographic coordinate system and there is projected coordinate system so i want to assign geographic coordinate system then click here go to world then go to below that is wgs1984 this is widely acceptable data then click on ok click on ok so after that if you drag it here again so no more further remove it no more further any alarm alarming okay so after georeferencing if you want to if you want to uh, know the exact reference or if you want to match the previous jharkhand georeference with present jharkhand reference to map then you can uh, i can use the sweep tools so this is a you can see here this is a tool known as effect tool okay so you can go here and you can just select this effect okay after check this effect your effect toolbox will open here okay so i again replace this okay so first one is jharkhand reference to so you should select this one jharkhand reference to because this jharkhand reference to image is above and jharkhand difference is below so after that you just click here this is a tool okay then if i go here so you can see here the boundary between two map matches more or less exactly or accurately so you can see here now if both the images are georeference image and we can do further work that is georeferencing as we can do the further work like digitization point line polygon feature etc from this image okay so this is a simple tutorial and thank you